good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the Center for Civic Engagement's Opportunity Fair. Um, this is a great opportunity for you folks to connect with several of our community partners that we have established relationships with. Um, in part, we are offering this opportunity for you to find placements for your service learning experiences over the course of this academic year. And in addition to that, we're doing this in honor of the 9-11 Day of Observance and Remem Remembrance. And part of that, over this past weekend, um, a number of us, even some of these community partners that are here, have volunteered at Share the Harvest um, through the Dartmouth YMCA and South Coast Serves. And um, you should certainly consider putting that on your agenda for next year. Um, it is a great time. You're outside harvesting crops um, and it is a, a pretty exciting experience now what I want to do is spend a moment letting you folks know about the I will campaign you may have noticed some char chalk um, drawings on the sidewalk on your way in and um, plastering of flyers all over campus in various different colors um, so that's what this event is for so we're going to show a very brief video 2011 marked the 10th anniversary of 9-11. With memories and memorials playing out across the nation, how would we commemorate that eventful day with distinction and purpose, with something personal and tangible? Ten years before, our nation joined together and rose in service to help those in need. So for this 9-11, our day had to manifest action and not mere thoughts. We asked people to remember by doing. We focused on all the positive energy and the sense of solidarity we felt right after the tragedy. My Good Deed, the organization that helped establish 9-11 as a national day of service and remembrance, wanted to make this 9-11 the biggest single day of service and good deeds in U.S. history. To create one day of the year when we would ignite the best in all of us, to do something good. We invited people to participate not only through volunteerism and service, but by simple, personal acts of good whether it was as easy as a hug or as dedicated as volunteering at a shelter. I will help somebody build a house. Help children with autism. Kiss my wife. Collect toys. Plant a tree. I will became our mantra, our call to action to inspire people in America to do something, anything positive on September 11th. I will find a way to help someone become more literate. From teaching hundreds of kids to read, to reading a book to your child, I will moved an entire nation to turn a day of loss into a collective of positive acts. From traditional media to social media, to the streets of America to Capitol Hill, we collected and stitched together hundreds of thousands of pledges that inspired people to join, and once again proved that when a country comes together, great things can happen. The pledges spread fast, and the movement gathered support from major partners, top celebrities, and endless publications who stood behind our message as if it was their own. The results were amazing. We had over 33 million participants join the effort throughout America and many other nations around the world. With two words and millions of people's actions, we touched the hearts of individuals and of a nation and created a movement that turned a day once known for a tragic event into the biggest day of positive action this nation has ever seen. Now September 11th will always be a day for doing good, and through it, be remembered. I will go up to a policeman or a fireman and say thank you. Okay, as you can see, that video does a, an excellent job at describing what this movement consists of far better than what I would have been able to do. Um, so in that vein, we are asking students, faculty, staff members, and even community partners who might want to participate in this. Um, our Maurice right here is doing some videos of folks who are willing to make an I will pledge. And as you can see from the video, it could be a small act, it could be a large act, it could be something um, that happens only tomorrow, it could be something that goes on, you know, throughout the entire year. And that's totally up to you. As part of that, for our students, we have some items that we're raffling off at the end of September. And what we plan to do is, when you go over to the civic engagement table, we have a number of um, pledges that you can fill out. So when you fill out a pledge, we're going to have them displayed on our civic engagement bulletin board near our office. And that will show everyone at the college what kind of pledges we are making in honor of this event. 
And so um, I hope that you decide to stop by and make some type of a pledge. And um, again, it will be on display and the students that participate in that will be entered to win some types of prizes. Um, some of which end up including bookstore vouchers that will help you for this academic semester. So to start this off before we actually um, have President Spraga speak, for my I will pledge, Tomorrow on September 11th, what I plan to do, if you, anyone knows me well enough, they know that I can't live without caffeine, or at least a large amount of caffeine. And I usually start my day by going to either McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts and picking up a cup of coffee. And so what I plan to do tomorrow is offer to pay for the next person's meal, whatever it may be. And hopefully it's not a whole school bus full of children getting uh, meals. And what I plan to do is Ask them to pay it forward tomorrow and to do something kind for any stranger that they encounter. And hopefully, within Fall River and the greater surrounding area, you'll find that people are doing good deeds to remember September 11th. And so on that note, I would like to introduce um, President Spraga. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you, everyone, for participating today. I want a special uh, thanks to all of the people that have agreed to uh, participate and are very happy about uh, uh, this participation for our students, uh, not only for our students, but for the community. And I love this uh, I Will program uh, <clears throat> because I think it breaks the cycle and uh, makes us much more, as a community, more proactive and uh, able to uh, step forward and uh, provide service to the community, which is what we're all about at Bristol Community College. And uh, again, I'm very grateful to all of the practitioners who are here and the sponsors. And a uh, special shout to uh, uh, Professor Mary Zahm, who uh, heads our program at BCC. And you met Jennifer Boulay already. So I'm going to uh, uh, say that my, well, I'm going to start out myself with an I will. And I will write, uh, read a book uh, to a child at, uh, at the Children's Museum. And I hope that all of you will uh, make similar kinds of commitments uh, to break this cycle of uncaring or nonchalance. Uh, we have to get more involved and become more active in our community. So I thank you for all that you have done and uh, continue to do. And uh, I pledge that our BCC family will provide whatever help we can provide and make those contributions as well. Thank you very much. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs, Anthony Ucci. Anthony Ucci. Thank you. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, what a wonderful uh, series of opportunities around here to uh, give back and to be part of, uh, you know, part of your society, part of your community, and support it. Uh, you know, we here at BCC feel very strongly that service learning and civic engagement are an important part of your academic experience. Um, as President Spraga likes to say, he, he likes to talk about, we have a, a, a policy or a, a motto here on campus called the BCC Educated Person. And one of the key things about that educated person is that they're engaged in their society and that they're an active uh, contributor towards that. And so it's wonderful to see all these opportunities around here that students can can contribute in that way. So um, I'm very pleased and a wonderful group of individuals. Uh, personally, in terms of what I will try to do uh, to support this uh, particular project, um, I, uh, in the past, have been relatively active in our community, in my community, um, doing uh, neighborhood cleanups, and we have a, a, a local uh, location that uh, has community uh, uh, outdoor trails, and we do a, a cleanup uh, once a year in the fall. And I, I pledge to continue that activity. Uh, it's going to take place this weekend. And and uh, give, I think it's about a four hour commitment to cleaning up the trails for everyone to take advantage in this public space. So that's my intention for the uh, I Will activity. So. And now our Dean of Teaching and Learning, Suzanne Buglioni. 
Thank you everyone and especially thank you to all the community partners that are here. Having worked for 30 years in my previous career as a, a human service person, I understand the intensity and the commitment that you all represent and I appreciate you bringing that all to the students of BCC. Um, I also appreciate very much, and I know I speak for everyone at BCC, the learning opportunities that you offer to students. For students, this is a chance to not only make a difference, but to gain valuable work experience, to try out new uh, experiences um, with the idea that you might land particularly in a career that's related, to, um, to do something meaningful with your extra time and energy, um, and to enhance your learning here at BCC. So I encourage folks in any way possible, take a service learning class, uh, do some community uh, work through the civic engagement program, uh, if you live in Fall River, go out and vote today. There's lots of different ways in which you can make a contribution to the community. And so I applaud you all for being here today. Thank you. So again, thank you to our community partners for coming to this event and thank you to our students for participating and for giving back in our local communities. And again, for those folks who are just coming in now, take a moment to stop by the different tables, get to meet some of the community partners. And before you leave, make a pledge, make an I will statement um, that you'd like to share with the college. And we plan to record some of those pledges and have them on our Facebook page over the course of this semester, so thank you.